Meet Matt, a student at the Nano Fabrication Lab. Matt handles chemicals used to create nanomaterials. Handling these materials requires knowledge about the emergencies that can occur. So Matt's here to demonstrate the emergency equipment in the Nano Fabrication Lab. This includes personal protective equipment, spill containment equipment, and the sinks, showers, and washes found in the Nano Fabrication Lab. Should you encounter a spill like this one, the first thing to do is to consult the materials safety data sheet for the chemical involved. Everybody should know the location of the SDS and how to use it. The SDS binder is frequently located near the lab entrance. The first page of the SDS tells you critical information for chemical identification and potential health hazards. Other sections provide information on the personal safety equipment required and first aid measures to apply in case of exposure. This SDS indicates that when coming into direct contact with this chemical, heavy duty gloves are required. Shielded goggles and a lab coat must be worn as well. Matt has also located the equipment for cleanup. In this case, he will use absorbent material specifically designed to contain and pick up spills in the lab. Notice the spill is completely circled to keep it from spreading. Super absorbent pads are used to pick up the liquid. Use as many pads as needed to completely soak up the liquid. Should your skin be exposed to a chemical, the chemical must be washed off as soon as possible. All exposed skin should be flushed with water. Matt demonstrates the technique recommended for flushing and then drying exposed hands in the lab sink. Flush with water for at least 10 minutes. Make sure to flush under nails and between fingers. Do you soap? Also, avoid touching any surface that may re-expose your hands to the chemical. Extreme exposure to large amounts of skin requires disrobing and flushing with water under the emergency shower. Everybody should know the location of the emergency shower and eye wash in the lab. If any chemical is splashed into your eyes, immediately use the eye wash. Start the eye wash and let the water flow into your opened eyes. Matt demonstrates the recommended technique for the eye wash. Prop your eyes open with your thumb and fingers. Flush with water for at least 10 minutes. Also, if you wear contact lenses, remove them while you are flushing. Contacts can hold damaging chemicals next to your eye. So how'd Matt do? Do you think you can follow the procedures he just demonstrated? Do the quick review coming up and then get ready for the next video where you'll meet Matt again and find out what's going on with nanoparticle synthesis safety in the lab.